Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome to today's Total Body Strength Workout. And these are our shape and tone exercises. All right, let's go with this one. Just tap out the heel in front and we'll counterbalance the body by bringing out those arms either side. And it'll also help to bring up that heart rate as well. So lift and lift. So I have a great super energetic strength workout lined up for you today. We have three sets, four exercises in each set, and we'll repeat the exercises twice. Now, equipment that you may need today, I am going to do a step up into a pendulum, but if you don't have a step, or you just don't want to step up, you can just do knee raise, knee raise, and then your pendulum move. Um, also have a selection of weights as well. No floor work today, so you won't need your mat. And, uh, We've got some, oh yeah, a little bit of conditioning. The last set is more conditioning rather than strict strength. So you will probably want to change down to some lighter weights for that one. See, so just see how you go with it. Okay, let's do 10 more here with this one. Good, lift out now nice and high. And four, three, two, and one. Now, feet um, out wide there, about a little wider than shoulder distance. Drop your hips, squeeze out your glutes. Now the first exercise, you'll see the little plates behind me, is an elevated goblet squat. Now you don't have to elevate your feet. I like elevating my feet when I am squatting. Let's swim, swim the arms here. When I have weights in my hand, it does help me a little bit more to get down a little bit deeper. So usually people with tight, tight ankles, elevating themselves up onto a height when they are doing their squats with weights really helps them to get a little bit deeper into the squat. So circle around. Feel the lovely work going on in between your shoulder blades here. That's it. Around we go. And around. Swim those arms. That's it, good work. And around. So you should feel that some nice movement going on between the shoulder blades there, your trapezes and your rhomboids your posture muscles. That's it, good work. Four to go, three, two, and one. And we're gonna do a stretch right up to the ceiling. And reach, and reach. That's it. See if you can really stretch your hand right up so that your trunk gets a nice bit of mobility work there and your shoulders while we keep the legs moving to keep the heart rate elevated. That's it. Lift and lift, lift and lift. Good work. Let's do another 10 seconds or so. Keep reaching really high. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Now hold your hips nice and steady. Rainbow legs to open up the hips a little bit. Stretch out the groin, the inner thighs. That's good. That feels really nice. And around and around. Well done. So your hips should be very square and facing the front when you're doing this particular move. Just rest your hands out in prayer position for a few a few seconds or a minute or so. I think if you add arms to this one, <laughs> it gets very confusing. That's it, good work. If you're tipping over, try down a little bit lower with your leg. Great. Two, that feels really nice. I'm feeling nice and stretched there. A few toy soldiers, just to hit the hamstrings. And again, you don't have to come high. Try down here. And then as you go through your time, you may be able to get a little higher, but don't worry if you can't get to your foot. Lift and lift, lift and lift. You feel the back of your legs there all along here, your hamstring muscle group, getting a good bit of work and a nice stretch. That's it, well done. Lift and lift. Let's do another four and three, two and one. Now, 
straddle your legs we have this exercise coming up today and you can do it body weight if you find it challenging i'm going to hold a dumbbell out in front here or just close to the body you can make it really hard and hold it extend the arms out in front but just watch that it's not over overwhelming your back muscles sit down a little deeper if you can feel this lovely stretch here this is a great mobility exercise it should be included in every workout with or without weights it's just amazing for the hips and the inner thighs you really feel the stretch can you get down a little deeper drop that tailbone not your chest that feels really good just another few seconds great job and three two and last one I do your heel to toe walk to get back in that's great for your ankles let's do that again all the way out and then all the way in one more time much easier to do in socks and all the way in nice big stretch before we begin enjoy today's workout so the first one we have is the elevated one or just do regular squats or use your chair and do a sit to stand on the chair and we're just holding the dumbbells out in front because that's our goblet position sit down and come back up okay right enjoy yourself right and our sequence is 12:48. in case i forgot to mention that to you so that's 12 seconds just to switch around your weights get ready for the next move 48 is to do your actual work so hold the weights out in front sit the rear down come back up squeeze your glutes breathe in hold your breath breathe out to come back up holding your breath just helps to stabilize the abdominals breathe it out as you come out of it that's a good work so four exercises in set one repeating them twice and then we'll head into set two and the last one conditioning get that heart rate up before we leave today and back out of it sit down and come up and come up feel those glutes working those legs working hard well done now we have our step up or you're just doing a two knee raise and then one two pendulum just stay on one side of the body here for pendulum okay oops I'll step a little closer one two and out to the side oops try that again up up squeeze it out and step down up up out to the side try not to lean too much to the side i know it's a lot when you're holding weights in your hand and back down and lift lift back down stepping up and down and particularly with weights will get the heart rate up we're just adding on here a little bit with our pendulum exercise up up i love doing step ups one of the best ways to train your lower body let's finish this one out other side next now so make sure you know what leg you're using okay curtsies right one or two weights so we are going into a curtsy one two you can keep the weights up in front knee raise knee raise and again curtsy or you can reach down to the floor if you like knee and knee curtsy curtsy other side knee and knee and down and knee and knee now if you want to make this even harder you can add a shoulder press round two i'll definitely get the shoulders in curtsy curtsy and shoulder and there we go well done now we have our side to side cossack so let's hold one weight out like i was saying get into that straddle position and hold it out in front or you can push it away from the body so just hold it close to the body or push it away 
Now after this, we're heading back to elevated squat. Try not to drop your chest too far forward. That's it, well done. Side to side, can you go a little deeper? Feel that lovely stretch for your inner thighs. Over and over. Good work. Drop that tailbone to the floor, keep that chest high. Keep breathing throughout. Excellent work. Okay, back to exercise one. So that's your elevated goblet squat or regular squat without elevation or sit to stand on the chair. Okay, let's go with that. Sit your hips down and up. Exercise two is the step up with the pendulum for the other leg. So that'd be left leg for me. Squeeze it out. Squeeze it out. Come on, we can do this. Sit your hips down, squeeze it all out. Good work. Squeeze it out, come on. We can do it. Drop your hips. Keep breathing throughout, now don't hold your breath. Last few seconds of feeding those back muscles working as well. Well done, excellent job. Okay, curtsy, now you can go curtsy one or two. Depends what you want to do yourself. I'm actually gonna get the shoulders in with this, so I'll go with two weights. And then knee and knee. Let's go, step back. Now you don't have to go into a deep curtsy if you don't want to. Always remember just a little bend of the knee is perfect. Introduce it to your body. This will be a, a major shoulder burn now. By the time we hear the beeper, up for two. Just adding on, the shoulders are optional. I'm just adding on here, just progressing all the time. You can leave it out if you want to. Other side. And reach, just get another one, come on. We can do it. Reach and reach. Okay, now let's go back to our step ups. That should have been exercise two. All right, let's go with it. Two and reach it out, step down. And again, one, two, step it down. Good work. One, two, and lift that leg. Two, and lift your leg. Good work. Keep going, nice and slow here. And up, and up, squeeze it out. Holding those weights out in front is really, really working the back muscles. Your posture muscles are working hard, fighting against that extra resistance there. Up, up, and squeeze it out. We get one more and squeeze it out. Well done. Now last exercise is our Cossack or a modified Cossack. The deeper you go, the more advanced it gets. Straddle again. You can go really deep if you want to. Lift that toe. Drop the hips down to the floor. That's it. Good work. Try not to lean too far forward. Again, those posture muscles have worked extremely hard with the step ups and this exercise in particular. Pretty much all of set one. Now we're heading into set two now. As soon as you hear the beep, we're gonna start with an upper body exercise, a lateral raise and a front raise. So up the first one focused very much on lower half. And the second set's very much the upper half. And then your last set is full body conditioning. Okay, so stagger the feet, it helps with the back. A lateral raise and a front raise. Okay, up and lift. Squeeze it out. So we burnt out that lower half for eight minutes. 
Now we're going to burn out that upper half for eight minutes. And then we'll do all the body for the last eight minutes. That's it, good. Lift it up, squeeze it out. Try and get up to shoulder height with each section of this move. Lift and lift. So we have a hammer curl next and a bicep curl. So we're gonna hit the front of the arm there, give some nice shapely biceps. Then we're into the triceps. And lift, last one. And lift, excellent job. Okay, now our hammer curl. So let's put the palms face each other. And then we rotate the hands so the palms face the ceiling. Okay. Again, you can stagger your feet here. It does help to take pressure off the lower back. All the way up to your shoulders. So full range of movement, get the dumbbells to travel up to your shoulders. Palms together, palms to the ceiling. So you're just hitting different areas of the bicep muscle group. That's it, up. We'll hit those triceps next. So what we're going to do is a single arm tricep extension, then the other arm, and then both together. And that really burns them out. And then we do something, something for the back, some rows for the back and the lats, and then we'll repeat those again. Okay, tricep extension. Whew. So lift those weights up, one and two. Be careful how much weight you're using here. Okay, yeah, stagger that feet. And two, and two together. Keep the arm close to your earlobe. And two together. One, and two, both together. One, two, two together. Lift and lift. Come on, you can do it. This is tough. Two, two together. One, two, and both together. Ooh, reach failure there quite quickly. I just need to give my grip strength a couple of seconds, but we're heading into, stick your rear out, back rows, okay? All right, let's go with that. Okay, bottom out, hinging the hips. Row those weights back, let the palms face you. I really struggled with those triceps there. My change down round two. I just feel I was losing a little bit of control with the dumbbells. And back down. Come on, you can do it. Row back, release nice and slowly. So don't release out altogether. Keep a little bit of tension at the bottom of the row here. And that really keeps the muscles engaged. Drive back and down. And down. Come on, you can do it. And down. Well done. Okay, now rest out for a second because we do know what's coming first. Lat raise, front raise. Just let me move these out of the way because we are finished with them. Okay, let's go with it. Lat raise, front raise. front. I think the triceps were worn out because the arm, the upper half is getting a real blast here all in a row. Lift, that's why it's always good to have a selection of weights. Lift. I like doing this type of training every now and then, doing upper body exercises all together and lower body exercises all together. It really wakes up, shakes up the muscles a little bit rather than doing the same type of format all the time. Well done, excellent job. Right, you've got your hammer curl, biceps first, then the triceps. Okay, let's get ready for this. Ooh, arms are on fire here. Okay, hammer curl, bicep curl, hammer. Bicep, really feeling it round two now. 
forget to rotate your weights. So palms face each other for the hammer curl and then turn the weights up to the ceiling. So a little rotation of the wrist. Great way to train here, hitting different body parts or hitting uh, the body parts at different angles. And squeeze it out, come on. You can really add to your workload here, your muscles workload by adding that little bit of tension at the top. Squeeze, that's it. And there you go, well done on that one. Okay, now I don't want to fail too much like I did round one. So I think I'll just drop down here to these lighter weights. Okay, so we've got one weight, one arm, second arm, both. Reach up. And then two, that's it, one. I feel like I'm in much more control here. I prefer that, I really do. I prefer being in control of the exercise. I'm in charge of it, I'm the boss of it. Not the other way around, not letting the dumbbells be in charge of you. Oops, two together, sorry. One, two, and just progress with lighter weights, you'll get there. Those lighter weights will become heavier if you repeat the exercise and the format of burning out the upper half altogether. It'll adapt to that type of training. One, two, keep the elbows close by, that's it. One more, come on, finish it out. Okay, they're even burning with these lighter ones. All right, okay, let's go with our back rows. Hinge the hips here first. Abs engaged, hinging, and row. Long arms down towards the floor. Good work, come on, we're doing a great job here together. We're heading into set three now, and this is more conditioning. So the first move, it's gonna put an emphasis on the legs, but more in a cardio fashion. So we're hopping side to side, or if you don't want to do impact, you can step it side to side and hold on to one of your heavier weights. I'm going to pick up my lighter weights and hop right down to the floor. Come on, all the way down. Elbows tight into the body and relax. Well done, excellent job. Okay, so like I say, step it across with a heavier weight, pick up a lighter pair and hop across. Or you can just step across, but you're stepping over a nice big um, obstacle there. It's great hip work. If you want to get that cardio, a little bit more cardio, a little bit more out of breath. Hop and hop. And you can see that bend in the knee is putting work onto the quads, the front of your thighs, the calves because you are hopping, and the glutes, of course, your butt cheeks. Over we go. We have our Y knee raises next, the letter Y. And I'm so glad we rested out the arms because that really does get those shoulders going. Over we go, come on. Keep the body moving. Well done, okay. Make your body like a Y and then either side. Okay, we rest it out and we get that beeper. Let's go. This is a great standing abdominal exercise as well. Try and keep the arm that's suspended in the air nice and long. That's challenging after our set two there with all that upper body work. Don't lean back either. Come on, crunch out your abs here as that knee drives across and that arm comes down to meet the knee. Do a little tummy crunch there with your rib cage. That's it, good. Crunch it out. Come on, you're doing great. This is tough today, I'm feeling it. Now you have an option what weights you want to use next. You can use one weight or stick with your two lighter weights or one heavier weight. We're going to go into a little squat and then Forward lunge, sit down, and other leg, alternating legs. Now you don't have to go into a deep squat, a little bounce of the hip will do, and a little step forward will do. Down, step forward. Okay, see what you can do here. 
Again, you can use your chair as assistance. Sit and stand onto the chair, the chair. Step up, step out of the chair, and do a little step forward. Always try and find ways that work for you or what you need to do to modify an exercise. Sit down, forward, down, forward. Good. That's great. This is absolutely amazing work for your legs and your, your gluteus maximus, your butt muscles. I'm just going to get in that other side just to even it out. Well done. Now into touch downs. I love this exercise. I'm going to go heavier with it. Okay. Are you ready? Down, reach up. Reach up. Try not to fall forward. This has just got to be the ultimate. This and squat thrusters <laughs> have to be the ultimate in conditioning workouts. Lift up. That's it. Are you feeling those glutes now at this stage? They have worked so hard for us today. And your legs and the arms. Reach up. Down. Reach up. Come on, we're doing great. Down. We're back to that hop to hop, hop side to side. Lift, down, and lift. Okay, now you can, if you want to, go one heavier weight here and hop over. Ooh, I feel the difference in the extra bit of weight. Over we go. Watch your back now with impact and weight. Stay in tune with how your back feels. Keep everything engaged in around your center. So just drawing that belly button into your spine. Over we go. That's it. And over. Keep breathing throughout. And over. That extra weight is really getting me breathless now. Good work. Come on, conditioning those heart and lungs. Great for your heart health. Great to keep your lungs healthy too. Bend those knees slightly. That's it. Good work. Excellent. Okay, why knee raises? Let's go with our lighter weight there. All right. Keep marching because I'm sure your heart rate's high. Lift up. Standing abs here before we finish out. Crunch it out. Crunch it out. Well done. Come on, you can do this with me. I know it's tiring. It's so rewarding though. And lift. And you can see you don't have to spend uh, hours working out to get an effective, wor effective workout. Pick a few good exercises and go for it. Come on, you can do it. Just crunch out those core muscles for me, last few seconds. I know the arms are quivering. That's good, muscles are adapting as they quiver. Excellent work, brilliant. Okay, now choose what weights you want to go with here. I'm gonna change it to these now, squat forward. Breathe for me there now. Squat forward and forward excellent work come on we can do it remember little squat little step forward if you need to this is a great exercise it just hits so many muscle groups in such a short amount of time down that's it good work sit into it go forward my Glutes are really feeling the work now at this stage. And they're not done yet. We've got our touchdowns to finish out. Well done, excellent job. Okay, I'm gonna push myself for the last move. Whew. Keep those legs moving, heart rate's high. Okay, straddle the legs again there, nice wide position. Down and reach. Drop and reach. 
lift up come on we can do it drop and reach reach it up you can do this come on this is great great work push it out and push keep the body moving we are just there and if you enjoyed today's workout don't forget to press that thumbs up button, button below the video there. I really appreciate all the likes that come my way. A big thank you to you. And there we go. We made it. Massive, massive dumbbell clap for you. Oh, what an amazing work we put in today. Well done. Let me stop all the beeps. Excellent job. Okay. Let the heart rate come down. That one really, really got the heart rate up. Just take a moment now. And then I'm gonna to head to the floor for a few stretches. I'm going to show you a number four stretch on the floor today rather than doing it upright. Just I know a lot of people find the balance can be an issue upright with number four. So let's head down to the floor with it. Okay. Right, just make yourself comfortable on your mat. And I want you just to cross your leg over. Just gently for a moment, just push your leg away and you'll feel a lovely stretching around your inner thighs, in around your groin, using your hand just below your kneecap, not on your kneecap, just in that fleshy part of the leg. Now you've made a little triangle here, upside down. We're going to put one hand through and the other hand's going to grab the opposite leg. And I want you to try and keep your neck up. When you're doing that, don't look up at the ceiling. Otherwise, you'll be hanging off your neck extensors and that's going to cause a lot of discomfort for your neck. So I want you to, to look out your little window here. And drop your chin, not on your chest, but close to your chest. You should be able to fit your fist under there. That's it, good. Draw that leg towards you. Keep that neck relaxed. Well done. See if we can bring it a little closer before we release out of it. That's it, well done. Feels really good. And gently put your foot on the ground and then your second foot. And then we just repeat on the other side. Push that leg away. Now, a lot of people here will develop neck tension before they even get to the second leg. So if you are, just rest your neck down and make sure that you have some sort of pillow underneath you or a cushion. Don't rest it down just on an exercise mat because again, you'll be overextending your neck. <sighs> Drop your chin down to you, towards that chest. Draw that leg in towards your body there, in towards your chest, that's good. And bring it in a little closer. And when you're there, you can rotate your ankle. It's great, you can get some ankle mobility while you're at it, all these little things you can do. Okay, now I'm not going to bring you into baby in the cot stretch, stretch yet. Put your hands behind you and we'll have a little shoulder stretch. And the simple reason is, you, uh, your neck probably feels a little bit ten tense to go down and do another stretch in that position. So I rotate my palms and I'm feeling a lovely stretch in my shoulders. The further you walk the hands away, the more of a stretch you're gonna feel. Feels really good. Try and sit upright as much as you can. Now we'll try baby in the cot. So down we go, or baby in the crib, as we sometimes call it. Sorry, my, my pack is just in my way here, but you do your best with this one. Okay, so again, we're trying our best to straighten the legs somewhat. It doesn't matter if they don't go completely straight, but what we're looking for is a nice stretch in the back of your legs. Hold on to your shoe there. It's a much easier stretch to do if you're wearing footwear because you're just really pinching your toes if you're barefoot. So just some stretches work well with the footwear. Now what I want you to do is try and bring the, your toes down towards your shins and you'll feel a really good stretch there in the back of your lower leg, your calf muscles. That's your gastroc. And again, you can just release out of it and come back into it when you feel like your neck more than anything has relaxed. Okay, now let's uh, go into our 90 degree sit. 
practice a lovely stretch and you can experiment with it if you want to walk the hands forward and you'll feel a lovely stretch in here in around the inner thighs. That feels good. Make a stretch and then the other side. <coughs> good work and I want you to continue on with this, continue experimenting and see, see where you can get rid of all those little knots in your muscles. And I want to say a big thank you for joining me today. You did a lovely, lovely strength workout today and I really am proud of everybody who spends time and comes here. It seems to be a Monday now. Every Monday the strength seems to be become very popular, but sir, I'm glad, that's great. Um, and I want to say a big thank you for everybody who clicks on the video and comes here and does their strength workout with me. And we're all strong ladies here and gents i know i have a few gentlemen on the channel i do know that from the comments um, and i am so delighted i actually really the more the merrier here with me um, but just well done working on your strength and if you want a longer cool down i will link up um, my cool down playlist in the description box below the video here but you can repeat all these exercises again and get a really really good stretch for your lower half um, and do something for your upper half as well. Do some of your little C-curve stretches. But for now, I'm gonna go on, shoot another video for you, so I'll see you really soon. Don't forget to drink your water. As always, I remind you to hydrate. Thank you so much for joining me. You did a great workout, and I'll see you really soon.